three. Not bad. Two of four. They just want to make those uncomfortable. But James Michael McAdoo has really gotten them off to a quick start. Four or five from the floor. Nine points. Well, and you mentioned this. And it, a year ago, he was the big in the small lineup. He's not to the bank. Yeah, and it's, it's been impressive for us to me. I mean, it's not just been out in the open floor as well. I think their execution offensively in the half court has been very solid. Some good passes inside. There's not one player on the lineup that's shooting less than 66. Off balance. And the final jam from McAdoo. Showing what he can do when he crashes the glass. But Belmont's up by two. And turnovers. But James Michael McAdoo, you like his aggressiveness. Got going a little bit early, took charge at times, got to the basket. They're going to need his. The size of James Michael McAdoo and the Tar Heels be the difference? Find out next. Nobody back again. Nobody back again. Jacob City, man, man. And I've all missed a potato blue. There's that outlet. There's the catch. And here is the jam. With a serious contest right at here he is with a steal and a slam very good instincts defensively he's quick he's long he's athletic he races to the ball turns defense into offense but carolina scored 18 points from uncg's turn climbing the offensive glass opportunistic and the shot goes up small forward power forward center should be in the paint around the rim looking for the second chance. And that could have been a jump shot, but he has his hands down and lets James Michael Mc James Michael McAdoo not settling for anything easy. He takes the ball into the paint and scores over two in Kentucky. We play in college basketball. Really with a catch and slot it away. Two spectacular defensive stops by North Carolina. Just crashes the glass. Doesn't ever have a good angle, but the athleticism to create a shot opportunity. And then how about this big time play? No, sir, twice on the pipes. McAdoo on the steal and lays it in. That's right there over the top and James Michael McAdoo just using it. To to get the steal and push the ball. Put the ball directly on the ground. Once you catch it, you're supposed to turn, face North Carolina, gets the steal. Nate Britt attacking the paint. You see right there, not being strong with the basketball. Marcus Page doing a really good job driving short corner, not leaving his feet, staying on the ground. Finding McAdoo for the easy jump shot. And then this big time play right here by McAdoo. Take a look in the transition here. I like the fact they get really good spacing on their break. Look at the three players. All spread out so one guy can't defend the ball. They make the defender commit there. The bounds plays. The team defending used to be on their heels. Now they look for steals. McAdoo anticipates, gets out, makes the steal. Get a steal, and he leads the break. Makes the pass, gets it back, and finishes. He created another bucket off of a steal. Makes the defense react to him. Drives it in the lane, pulls the defender up on him, makes the perfect reason. As you take a look here at the nice entry pass, again, Britt doing a good job of putting it right where he should. But the ahead to Britt, the lob to Bacchino! It's a dunk party in Chapel Hill. Da da da, da da da. Nominee Page for Michael McAdoo. Oh wow! As McAdoo right now in the passing lane, great deflection. I think we really challenged him. St. Francis has the ball. Great hustle and the ball up, and it's Jam City. His entire coaching tenure wherever he's gone, has been able to push the ball in transition and find ways to stay again. McAdoo finishes and the foul. Just what the Tar Heels need from James Michael McAdoo, finishing at the rim. The ball's gonna get entered inside. Boston College wanted the double dribble. The officials ruled that there was contact made on the ball that knocked it loose. Allowed that play to continue, and then to draw the con. Minutes of play. Flushes it on top of Toby. Excellent catch and go by McAdoo. <laughs> with a very aggressive. By Tokido, and how about McAdoo at 6'9", weaving through the defense of Clemson, and then... And the Smith Center recognizes the hustle 
from James Michael McAdoo and the Heels. At the 12 minute mark, we show the play from the Virginia game where JP Tokoro had a chance to dive on the floor for a loose ball. But if you're a North Carolina fan, this is the sense of urgency you want from your basketball team. The leader of this offensive rebounds alive. He has nine points. You're gonna see him right here just staying alive, dribbling the ball in transition, keeping his head up, making the pass to McDonald for the easy lay-in. Diving on the floor. You know, two possessions later, JP Tokido dove on the floor. Look at him running, sprinting towards the bench, attacking the chest of KJ McDaniels. Getting one of two offensive rebounds. And this is caught standing up, and it's the right call. Is inside the circle. McAdoo finishing with the left. Page ahead to McAdoo for the dunk. It's all Carolina blue on Clemson and Chapel Hill again. When you're on the right side of the basket, you usually jump off the left foot. James Michael McAdoo jumping off the right foot in transition with the strong. Having on the floor. I can't tell you how many offensive rebounds he's in, being able to keep alive by just tipping the ball, keeping it in play. And he continues. Tipping it up big time for the heel. Looked like Carter dunking it out of a four-foot rim. <laughs> Except it's not a nerf basketball. <laughs> that he's not a terrific shooter. He wants to do this. And in high school, he could blow by everybody. Sole proprietor of the offense here. So an aggressive attack of the rim, excellent use of the left hand. And then here's what he's always been able to do. If you're Jordan Vandenberg, respect that. You could do with 14 points and 10 boards. Defensively being a factor, the hard drive playing through contact. In space, he's always been terrific. You give him a cushion or let him get out in transition, follow up a missed opportunity, take a charge in rotation. He's only looking for the team. When you're taking shots that are surprising your teammate, this is another turnover by Maryland as Mitchell loses it out of bounds. Four turnovers and McAdoo taking it at the Terrapins. They're out big early, 17 to 3. And the alley oop is. Shaquille Clear goes to sleep on the baseline. Wow, they, they love to run. A little bit of emotion. The alley -oop. James Michael McAdoo. High fly. Beer. Drive and shoot threes, mid range jumpers. McAdoo's got a chance for a three point play. He had some. Tokido, nice feed. Nice play. McAdoo nice will lay in. Great basketball play right there. Cut down the lane, find the. McAdoo, and the game is tied. This is a heck of a catch by McAdoo, and then he just powers the ball to the basket. I think a break for Duke. That foul was called on Hood, but McAdoo ahead of the pack. That is a tough catch. The big guy gets stopped, takes his time. Nice look to McAdoo. The opposition, and that's what he's witnessed. Just, McAdoo just makes the cut right to the basket and nobody picks him up. At least nobody's there. And that's what Mike Krzyzewski is upset about. Now again, Junior, James Michael McAdoo. Berg, we talked about him at the top. Had to be in like the, the catalyst, you know, and he can score it in a variety of ways. Back to the basket, his mid-range, he gets out in transition as well. He has been really effective off. Puck away, McAdoo! Michael McAdoo skying to the rim. McAdoo here, the quick hands, just comes up with the steal. Explosive in the open floor. Smart decision by Dixon with the timeout. Remember Patterson, on, he does it before the defense is set, folks. You, you heard me talk earlier about when you play good defense, you want five sets of eyes on the basketball. Not the case in that position. Be a bit of a hangover from the, the Q's loss, but there was no hangover for McAdoo in the first half. He was electric. Oh, he not to compete, but that's something they've had to work on. And Britt, lay it down. <laughs> McAdoo with the flush. Not a problem competing today, I tell you. They are just flying around on the floor. Trying to take control of this game. It's a 7-0 Tar Heel run. They've got their largest lead of the day. 
James Michael McAdoo has been a difference maker here today for North Carolina. You know, hasn't been concerned with anything but competing. And again, we talked about it with that type of athletic ability. Just be active. Be aggressive. Five on four for the heels. McAdoo! Slam McAdoo! Light up, and we get a highlight supreme. James McAdoo attacking the basket. Yeah, going crazy. McAdoo from McDonald. 11 for James Michael. <laughs> well, here's the good guy. James Michael McAdoo going over, flipping the screen, and able to finish. At if you lay up, you take it whatever you can get it. This was well defended by McAdoo. More of a sense of urgency by James Michael McAdoo to protect the rim. McAdoo, much stronger move that time. He's a pretty good player. When he goes to the bucket and goes straight up, he's a really good player. He was there for North Carolina. McAdoo spins. Yes. Down to 10. James Michael McAdoo with the shot at the buzzer. Beautiful setup of the game. Here's that play um, against the zone. The backside is always vulnerable, and if you can get a screen on that backside big, there's nobody there because the center man that time bats is coming up towards on Hogue. That's his third. And here's what I was talking about. When McAdoo can face the basket and get ahead of steam, that's when he's at his best. He's not.